This message is brought to you by Supernatural Life Ministry. Receive with excitement and grasp with passion the engrafted Word of God as it comes your way through God's servant, Ike Aziji, of the Supernatural Life Ministry. A man called by God with an embodiment of great grace and a mandate to reawake the greatness in you and to deliver mankind from every deception of the enemy. Now get ready for an unusual encounter with the Word of God that will take your life to the next level. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Almighty God, we thank you. The ancient of days, we celebrate it. Thank you for another opportunity tonight. We welcome your supremacy. We welcome your absolute authority over our lives, over this meeting tonight. We invoke your presence. Come and have your way. Touch every life at the sound of my voice. Touch every lives tonight. Father, we welcome you. Spirit of the living God, we release your authority. We ask you to breathe on every life at the sound of my voice tonight. Let there be testimonies. Let there be answers. Let there be solutions in the life of men and women. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We vow to give you all the glory in the name of of Jesus Christ. Today I'll be looking at a topic I captioned, War Against Strongholds and Negative Imaginations. War Against Strongholds and Negative negative Imaginations. You know, it is a disaster getting into a fight and you don't have anything to fight with. Life is a fight. And we are in a fight. And if we are in a fight, you need a weapon. We fight to establish our victories. We fight to reclaim our stony possessions. We fight to establish our healings. We fight to take hold of our blessings. The truth is that the kind of fight that we are in is not a physical fight. Sometimes we are under so much pressure that we can't even measure the amount of pressure we are under. We are under so much pressure. Peer pressure, family pressure, career pressure, academic pressure. We are under so much pressure that we can't even measure the amount of pressure we are under. In our place of work, we are under pressure. In our families, we are under pressure. In the works of our life, we are under pressure. We are under so much pressure that we cannot measure it. Sometimes you are dealing with pressure, stops that people don't even realize. Sometimes we are dealing with stops, situations that we don't even know nothing about. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 says, it said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle, we fight. It didn't say we have wrestled or we will wrestle. It said we wrestle. We are is a present continuous tense. We wrestle, we fight. No, we have wrestled or we will wrestle. Not that we fought or we will fight, but we fight, we wrestle. As long as you are breathing on this earth, as long as you are alive, you face battles every day of your life. Life is full of battles. Life is full of fight. And if life is full of battles and fight, the question is, what kind of fight are we in? The truth is, the fight we are in right now the fight in our lives are no physical fight. They're not fight. They're going to use the weapons of war, the physical weapons of war to fight. These are spiritual fight. We are in a spiritual war and a spiritual battle. Everyone that is alive faces one challenge, one difficulties, one opposition or the other. We are in a fight. You have to realize that. And the Bible says we wrestle, we fight. 
Our fight is not against, our fight is against evil spiritual rulers. Our fight is, the fight is not against your brother, it's not against your boss, it's not against your friend, it's not against your neighbor. The fight is a spiritual fight. For every challenge you face in life, there's a spiritual undertone. The fight is not physical. The fight is not physical. We are, we are in a fight against evil oppositions, against evil obstacles that stand in the pathway of our victory. Our fight is against evil projections and evil attacks. Our fight is against forces that want to take away our peace. Our fight is against forces that want to take away our health, that want to take away our success, our achievements. Against, our fight is against spiritual rulers that want to implant fears in our lives, that want to implant fears of the unknown, fears of uncertainties in our destinies. Our, our fight is against wickedness, spiritual wickedness, that want to set the stones of impossibilities in our lives. It's not a physical fight. Whatever challenge, difficulty you're facing right now is not physical. There are forces wrestling against your freedom. There are forces wrestling against your success, against your redemption, against your, against your breakthroughs. There's forces, there are forces wrestling against your peace, against your life. Stop seeing that challenge as a physical fight. There is a spiritual undertone behind every challenge you face. Child of God, some of you have, some of you have, 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 have mastered the act of camouflage, putting smiles on your faces and going through your expected duties as requested. While in the, in the real sense, you are, you are pretty sure things are not okay. And, and you're pretty sure things are not okay, but you smile, you put a smile on your face, and you don't want the next neighbor to know what you're going through. But I want you to realize it's not time to keep quiet. It's time to fight because you are in a fight. Whether you fight or not, the enemy will fight you. If you keep quiet, he's going to fight you. So the best thing to do is to fight him back because fight him even before he starts fighting you. Because life is a fight. And there are spiritual wickedness, there are spiritual rulers in high places that want to stop the children of God from getting to their desired destinies. They want to stop you from, they want to stop your life, they want to stop your destiny, they want to stop your career, your family, they want to stop you from going forward. So you, have, you are in a fight, you have to fight. If you keep quiet, the enemy is going to fight you anyways. So it's not time to keep quiet, it's time to fight. It's not time to keep quiet, but in the name of Jesus... Everything that have hindered your joy, everything that have hindered your freedom, everything that have hindered your healing, your restoration, your advancement, everything that have hindered your victory and your peace, I command them destroy now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree an end to any attack against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are in a spiritual fight, then you need a weapon. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds are things that have strongholds on you. Anything that has a stronghold on you is a stronghold. God said, I will give you something to pull it down. I will give you something to pull down every stronghold in your life. Everything holding you back, holding you down from advancing, holding you down from succeeding, holding you not down from going forward, holding you down from becoming what God has destined you to be. I will give you a tool to pull it down. It does not, it, it does not just got a hold on me, but it got a stronghold on me, stronghold. It does, not, it does not just have a hold on me. It just have a stronghold on me. The pain has got a stronghold on me. The depression has got a stronghold on me. The sickness has got a stronghold on me. The poverty has got a stronghold on me. The addiction has got a stronghold on me. The anxiety has got a stronghold on me. The anxiety has got a stronghold on me. Failure has got a stronghold on me. Ha, 
I will pull it down. God is saying, I will give you authority and power to pull it down. I will pull down everything having a stronghold on you. In the name of Jesus. God is saying, I will pull down. God is telling us, no matter what is having a stronghold on you, that is dragging your feet backwards, if you take one step forward, some forces will draw you back, ten, ten steps backwards. If you take one step of success, you will, you will experience seven steps of failure. The Bible says they are strongholds. And God is saying, whatever that is having a stronghold on you, I will pull it down. I will pull it down. Whatever that is holding you down, I will pull it down. I will pull it down. Every evil stronghold over your finances. Every evil stronghold over your marriage and relationships. Every evil stronghold over your health, over your advancement, over your peace, over your joy, over your possibilities, over your families, over your career, over your, super, 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 uh, over your spiritual growth and development. I pull them down now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you read that, that, that chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, if you read verse 5, the Bible says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. What does that mean? And it says, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. What is it talking about? Imaginations means image formations. It means nations of images. The enemy brings to torment our lives. Imaginations, nations of images. Some of us are pressured by imaginations of things that do not even exist. And the enemy is bringing imagination of things that not even exist, that things that will not even come to pass just to disorganize our lives and to take away, and to take away our peace. You might look so calm on the outside and you are going through stuff on the inside that is tormenting you. Some of you are wrestling and fighting with situations, obstacles, opposition, stops that are just too much for you to handle all alone. Yet, someone, someone closest to you do not even know that you are in a fight. Life is a fight. Sometimes you will have a moment of joy and the enemy will put on an image on the TV screen of your mind just to rob you of your joy. Some of, some of the negative images the enemy brings our way might be situations. They might be ideas. They might be memories and thoughts just to weigh us down. Just to derail us from God's divine purpose. Just to push us away from God's ordained plan and purpose for our lives. You know, some of the things the enemy brings brings our way are just possibilities that have never even yet happened and might not even happen. These are evil strategies and manipulations the enemy is using to rob on us, to rob us of our joy and victories. Therefore, in the name of Jesus the Christ, I cast down and I pull down every negative satanic images tormenting and rubbing you off rubbing off on you in the name of Jesus you see you see when the enemy wants to afflict you when the enemy wants to afflict us he will bring to you he will bring to us an image and if we dwell on that image long enough he will use that image to afflict us for some of you and for some of us there are images in your head that tells you you can't pass a particular level. That you can't be able to do certain things. That you are limited and bounded because of memories, mistakes, errors in your life or in your family line. That you can't do this, you can't do that because of memories. If the enemy keep, keep bringing back memories of imaginations, of things that happened to us in the past. Telling us, you know, this happened this time, this happened that time, therefore... This is where you can go. You can't go beyond this. Try to place barriers and boundaries over our lives. But we don't need to give, on, give, give in to the enemy. Some of you are afflicted with negative imaginations that you're going to die. That she's, she's not going to stay with you. That he's, not, he's going to leave you. 
that how can anybody love you? That you're going you're gonna to struggle all your life. That you're going to fail. That you're going to be a victim of failure. That you will never see any good thing in your life. These are the thoughts, the images, the enemy keep bringing to the children of God. Try to limit us. To limit us. Try to break down our faith and to break down our possibilities. Negative images that has placed limitations and boundaries on our future. Negative images the enemy is bringing to place boundaries, limitations to our advancement. Images that torment and afflict us and tell us that we don't have what it takes to get to the next, level of, to the next levels of our lives. Why, why, why would we believe that? Why will we give in to the plans of the enemy? The Bible says the enemy uses tricks, antics. He's a master planner of decisions that, that will work against us by bringing negative thought and imagination, negative thought, negative pictures, just to weigh us down. The enemy is not, is not strong. He's just using strategies to bring us down. But not anymore after today. God is commanding deliverance, rescue, restoration our way tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone at the sound of my voice. I don't know what has held you down. What has prevented your advancement and your glory. Today, I command your freedom. I command your liberty. Everyone at the sound of my voice. No matter, no matter what the enemy has afflicted you with. No matter what arrows the enemy has sent in your direction. No matter what has been projected against you. No matter what the prepositions of the enemy has been. Against your life. Against your family. Against your career. Against your peace. Against your joy. Against your well-being. Against your health tonight. In the name of Jesus the Christ. I command your liberty now. I command your freedom now. You go free in the name of Jesus. Every negative images in your life that has become a God, we have to cast them down tonight. You have to cast them. Every negative imaginations that have become an idol in your life. Every negative thought, word spoken in your life when you are growing up, word spoken by your boss, by your friends, by your neighbors, by somebody you thought is your friend, what that that have been spoken into your life that have become a stronghold, that have become that have become a bondage over your life, that have become a yoke that you cannot bear, that you cannot live without. In the name of Jesus, those yokes are broken. Some of us people have spoken things into our lives that affect us. Whenever we want to rise, we remember what. What has been said about our lives? What has been said about our futures? About our destiny? And these are lies of the enemy just to keep us down, just to cage us, to stop us from going forward. But today is the end of that in the name of Jesus. Every negative image is in your head that has become an idol in your life. I cast them down now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Christ. Everything that stands up high in your life against what you know about God is going to come down. Everything that is standing against your knowledge of the truth of God's word got to come down tonight. How you see yourself is got to come down. How you feel about yourself is got to come down. How you feel about that situation is got to come down. No more torments in your life. Whatever that have been spoken, whatever lies the enemy has spoken in your life, they have to come down tonight. They got to come down. Some of you cannot enjoy the nice, the, the, the nice houses, the nice job, the nice wife, the great opportunities, the success and the breakthroughs God has given you. God has already given you because God has already given you some successes, but you cannot enjoy it because of negative imagination playing, playing in your mind, telling you that you can't have peace, you can't succeed, giving you limitations and boundaries. But today, it got to come down. I command them, cast down, pull down. Everything stopping your advancement, every chain of opposition, every chain, every handcuffs of the enemy over your life, I command them broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. No matter what the devil is trying to bring your way. 
they are destroyed today. He will try to bring negative imagination just to dominate your mind. This imagination have taken your joy. They have taken your peace. They have taken your life, your, 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 your love. They are taking your love away from you. But today, those imaginations, they are coming down now in the name of Jesus. This remind me, or this remind me of what was mentioned in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 14 of Lucifer, this, uh, Lucifer who we call Satan. He, he, he said, I will ascend into the heavens and exalt myself above the most high. That is the devil speaking. He has always wanted to be above God. Since he cannot be above God, he is trying to be above what we know about God. That's what the devil does. He cannot ascend above God. So he wants to make sure that every truth God has told us in his word, every truth about God that we know, he wants to make sure that he, he contradicts he contradict those things we know about God. He wants to make sure that he opposes it. He stops us from becoming God, what God has planned has designed for us to be. You know, God, you know God is a healer. The enemy will try to convince you that he's not. You know God is a deliverer. The enemy will try to convince you that he's not. You know that God is a way maker. The enemy will try to bring opposition to way to make you doubt, can God make way for me? You know that God is merciful. The enemy will tell you he's not. We know that God is a protector. He's a defender. He's our helper. But the enemy will try to question God's divine authority and influence in our lives. That's what he does. He wants to question every authority of God in our life. Everything God has said concerning us, the devil will come to contradict that God has said concerning us. Just to make, just to make sure that our faith goes down. Just to make sure that whatever God has told us, we don't believe that. Just to discourage us from believing what God has said about our lives. The Bible says you got to fight to bring every thought into captivity. You got to fight to bring every negative thought, every negative pictures, every negative imagination, every nation of images. The enemy has been surrounded your life with to limit you, to stop you from going forward. The Bible says you have to bring it into captivity. What that means, you have to bring it under control. There are some thoughts we need to bind tonight. And those thoughts of negativity, those thoughts of failure, those thoughts of shame, I bind them now in the name of Jesus. There are some thoughts that we need to handcuff. There are some thoughts that we need to incarcerate. Because these thoughts, if we don't stop them, they're going to stop us from going forward. All the enemy does is use pictures and thoughts to bring these things our way to stop us. And tonight, we are stopping every thought. We bind every thought. The Bible says whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. We bind every negative thought, every negative satanic pictures, every negative satanic images that want to stop our advancement. We bind them now in the name of Jesus. We handcuff and we incarcerate every plan, every torment, every tricks, every plans of the enemy to stop our advancement, we destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. There are some thoughts you need to put under control in order to stop those thoughts from killing you. The, all the enemy will do is just to use thought to stop us. He wants to use thought to stop our advancement. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, every thought that is, that is a trap, that is a tricks, that is a pitfall, against your life, we frustrate them tonight in the name of Jesus. If you don't bring some of your thought under captivity and under control, it will kill and destroy you. You have to bring it under control. That is why you're a child of God. The Bible says what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. When never bring those negative thoughts of failure, thought that you can't, I can't succeed, oh, I am limited here, I'm not smart enough, Ah, no, this is not, I don't have the right qualification. I don't have the, the right abilities. When the enemy brings those thoughts, the Bible says it's your function and your duty to stand and pull them down and destroy them in the name of Jesus. That is the tool that you need. Because what the devil is going to be doing is bringing thoughts your way. And once you accept that thought, 
is going to become an idol. It's going to become a god in your life, and it's going to limit you from achieving God or then purpose for your life. But we say no to that tonight. Every plan the enemy has planned, everything he has orchestrated, he has he has strategically positioned to stop advancement tonight. We destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. There are, there is a thought after your life. There is a thought after your peace. There is a thought after your after your marriage. There's a thought after your health. There's a thought after, after your prosperity. If you really believe that Jesus is the Lord of your life, why do you allow the negative thought to reign over you? Why do you allow those thoughts to reign in your spirit? No, you cast them down. Casting down imaginations. Pulling down strongholds. God has given us authority over every satanic stronghold. Everything that is holding you down. God has given you authority to bring them down. Every imagination the enemy is bringing away, God has given you authority to cast them down. Cast them, cast them down imagination, pulling down strongholds. Everything that got a stronghold on you, I command them broken. I command them destroyed. Everything that got a stronghold on your destiny is destroyed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have got to bring that thought in obedience to the knowledge of Christ. Maybe you are going through a weight load of negative imaginations that are too much for you to bear. Maybe the pressure you are going through is too much that you can't even open up to anybody. But the Bible says you've got to cast it down. Cast with your voice, with your mouth. Speak. The Bible says strangers will submit themselves unto you. When they hear your voice, they will flee from their close places. Every stranger hiding in your spirit, in your mental system, on your mind, on your spirit that want to stop your advancement. The Bible says, when you speak, they will hear and they will run away from you. For strangers will submit. Negative imaginations are strangers in your life. Strongholds are strangers in your life. You got to speak against them because if you allow them, they're going to kill your destiny. They're going to kill your dreams. They're going to weaken God's divine purpose in your life. You don't, uh, you don't have to allow them to stand. The Bible says, cast them down. Pull them down. Therefore, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we pull down every negativity, every negative pictures, every negative satanic ideas, every negative satanic impositions and prepositions, we pull them down. Every satanic negative, satanic projections, prearrangement that have been made against our safety, against our security, against our success, against our family, against our marriages, against our success, against our blessing. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we pull them down. We cast them down. And we command that our freedom is established in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I decree your freedom from negative thoughts and ideas is established tonight. I decree your liberty from thoughts of failure and fear of the known is established tonight. And I decree and I lose your mind from every negative imagination of oppression. I lose your mind from every negative imagination of affliction. I lose your mind from every negative imagination of satanic obsession. I pull down every negative stronghold that has got a stronghold on you. I pull them down. I command a disengagement, a divine disengagement from your life at this time. In the name of Jesus, you are free now and you are free forever. And you are free indeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We never like to close our broadcast without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Please, would you pray this prayer with me? Dear Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my life. I make you my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Father. Friends, if you pray that prayer, we just believe that you just got born again. Get into a good Bible-based church. Keep God first. And he will take you to places you have never dreamed. The Lord bless you. We know you've been blessed by this message. Tune in at the same time next week on this station for another inspiring word of faith. 
We want to see your dreams fulfilled. We want to see you healed. We want to see you blessed. And we want to make an everlasting, positive, impactful difference in your life. For supports and prayers, call our helpline at 306-999-2494. We would be glad to have you as a part of our family. For more impactful teachings, visit our website at www.supernaturallifeministries.org.